Well, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, January 14th. Thanks for tuning in to our morning check-in for Me Free Church. Now, we're looking at how to love one another in the church <clears throat> as seen in 1 Corinthians 13. We've already seen that love is patient. And that means I'm wronged. I have the power to retaliate, but I choose not to. We've seen that love is kind. That means that I want to live to benefit you by being useful to you. We also saw that love is not jealous. I won't try to deprive you of the blessings that God brings into your life because he did not bring them into my life. Now the next one in verse 4 says this, love does not brag. <laughs> the, the literal word, the root word in the original language is windbag. You could literally translate this, love is not a windbag. This describes a person who doesn't talk about their own accomplishments in order to make them look superior or you look inferior. We all know someone like that, don't we? It doesn't matter what the topic is, they will have a story that's better than yours. Love doesn't do that. You see, love doesn't want the spotlight on me. Love wants the spotlight on you. Love doesn't want you to listen to me do all the talking. Love wants me to listen to you do the talking. Love does not brag. And then the last one in verse number four is this. Love is not arrogant. Now bragging is the verbal action of pride. Arrogance is the inner attitude. In other words, this describes someone who doesn't think they're better than you. In fact, I believe that this is seen clearly in Philippians chapter 2 and verse number 3. Here's what it says. Do nothing out of selfishness. That's the desire to get ahead. And do nothing out of empty conceit. That's the desire to be seen, to be recognized, to be applauded. But instead it says, with humility in mind, and that word humility Describe the Nile River at its lowest stage. In other words, lowering oneself, ready? Regard one another as more important than yourself. Now, let me say that last phrase again. Regard one another as more important than yourself. You see, that's what true love does. True love doesn't say, I'm better than you. True love says, I will always view you as more important than me. That will change a relationship. And that will change a church. Pray with me, would you? So Father, that's a hard one. But help us today to regard one another as more important than ourselves. Help us to do nothing out of selfishness or vain conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than ourselves. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Hope you'll be back tomorrow morning. It'll be our last check-in of the week, and we'll continue our look at 1 Corinthians 13.